Hello everyone, Mr. Fungi64 here. Welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green. Last time we continued exploring Rock Tunnel, and this time we'll hopefully get through it. Another picnicker. And if you didn't watch last time's episode, this episode will also be 20 minutes because I'm still sick from a couple episodes ago. And 20 minutes is about all I can handle right now. Rock Tomb should do it, unless it misses. Whirlwind? Rocket? Rocket, you are most certainly not ready to fight. Wes, how about you get back there instead? Yeah. Nice try. Let's try this again, shall we? Get this demon bird out of here. You should have a Pidgeotto this far in the game. Just saying. At least. Probably. I don't know the levels. Bellsprout. We can handle this. Slash. Bam. I forgot he had Slash on him. I haven't. I think that's the first time we've used Slash. Radito. We're gonna dig it. Your quick attacks mean nothing to me. Sand Slash has been more bulky than I figured. It is a Rattata, but still, just in general. I mean, I know he's not as fragile as, like, Doug Trio, but I feel like a lot of the pure ground types in Gen 1 are kind of not that bulky. Maybe I'm wrong, though. I could just be wrong. I'm probably wrong. Uh, just like last time, I'm going to explain it here, in case you didn't watch it or you forgot. Uh, if you see any random cuts, it's probably me cutting out, like, a sneeze or a cough. So, just... Keep that in mind. I've been fine lately, so I'm feeling a lot better than I was a couple episodes ago. Uh, no, we're fine. We're fine. I do, however, since I forgot about Slash, I'm a s oops. Good thing you can't see that. <laughs> Accidentally, you might have just seen my mouse for a second. Just ignore it. I only opened up my task bar. Don't want to do that. Um, right, summary. That's what I wanted to do. Let me go here. And just as simple as that. Beautiful. Alright, uh, another picnicker. What's up? Item. A pearl. That's a sellable item. And an easy fight. You came here looking for wild Pokemon. I'm not even sure what you could find in Rock Tunnel. I've been using repels this whole time. I mean, I imagine, you know, your usual suspects like Geodude and Zubat and whatnot. Standard Kanto Caves habitat. Nice crit. No kill like overkill. Oddish. Slash. Ooh, alright. Oh no. My evasiveness. Slash. It's just... Who we got next? Pidgey? Uh, I'll use Rock Tomb. Should have went for Slash. Whirlwind. Not again. Don't you dare. All right. Baku can take it. Baku's fine. Paralyzed, but fine. A little confusion. All right, that's just rude. Kick someone while they're down, essentially. I mean, they're weak. So, we have as much time as we need to get one confusion, maybe two off, depending. It is level 20, but it's a Pidgey. Yeah, I thought so. You never know, though. You never know. Ahem. <clears throat> well, that happened. Should probably heal that paralysis. 
after after that battle it's opened my eyes and I'm gonna heal the paralysis because a lot of Pokemon a lot of trainers have taught their Pokemon uh, whirlwind apparently whirlwind not tailwind right whirlwind tailwinds like increases speed for the whole team oh this is the exit what's the lift well hold on interruptions all right there we go oh nothing it's probably a hidden item don't care next we finally made it out end of only five minutes so I should I could have done it in one is this just another rock tunnel sign yeah uh, trainer Two trainers right here. It must be guarding some because the right seemed like the correct way to go. You never know. Slash. I think the day. I think the days of uh, Rock Tomb are behind us. Hey, there's the Pidgeotto. Slash. <laughs> Oh my goodness, the crits! Two in a row? Was that two in a row? Did I see that right? Do my eyes deceive me? God. Damn. Ha 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 ha. Good, good talk, man. Two Pokemon. What a sh shocker. Dig. Easy. Two turns, one hit KO. Mudsport? It's such a pointless move. Electricity's power is, is weakened. You're a ground type, man. You can't get much more weak than zero. We don't do negatives here. I mean, what would that even do? Just... You're so weak, you start healing now. Huh. Well, that happened. Well, one more dig. So, two turns. We're running out of digs. Well, we should be close to Lavender Town soon. Which, I, li I like Lavender Town. You know Pokemon, you know Lavender Town. Everyone knows La Lavender Town, right? Is it bad that I find Lavender Town's music unironically good? I like the weird, creepy vibe they're going for. Uh, let's switch Pokemon. You're level 27. Uh, Hiker. Switch. So I can't wait to listen to it. I'm not sure. I don't remember how it sounds on GBA. But I know like the creepy one, quote unquote. Uh, it's the Game Boy version, which I've never really found all the Lavender Town stuff creepy. Just neat. I don't know. I like I like creepy. I said in the last episode that Halloween was my favorite holiday, so you know I like horror. What can I say? I'm excited. Just just for the music. Uh Yeah, confusion. Simple as that. Oh, rock throw. That would be nice to have. Uh our attack is bad, so I'm just gonna confusion again. Because if I went for headbutt, it probably would have not been enough because our attack is bad. Your rock type. A defensive rock type. Yeah. Let me just use a normal type move. What's this building? Oh, is it? Oh, it's Lavender Tower. So we are here. Well, might as well fight you since I'm here. Well, what kind of Pokemon you got? Two Pokemon. Coupon. Easy. Simple as that. Yeah, 
Yeah, I knew, I knew, oh my goodness. That, that screen flash on that attack was crazy. At least it looked crazy. I, I only saw it in the corner of my eye because I was just checking the time on the recording. So the screen was in my peripherals. Slip okay. Look at that. Right. Right. Psychic resist itself. Well, and I, I mean, it still didn't do that mu that bad. Uh, but I'll switch. Why not? Get the whole team together here. Wow. And our first use of Thunderbolt. So this should be light work. Nice. Ugh. Well, that happened. And it's time for the very music that I was hyping up this whole time. Lavender Town. I love the creepy aesthetic. And now for it to be ruined with the Pokemon. Center music, which is still good. It's like Kipo's mother trying to escape from Team Rocket. She was killed trying to get away. Jesus. Team Rocket will do anything for the sake of money. There's no job too dirty, no deed too heinous, no crime too wicked. You know how the Cubone species wear skulls, right? People will pay a lot for one. That's weirdly true to real life in certain, well, not really the skulls of, of animals, I don't think, but definitely certain parts, like animal tusks, like tusks, are usually worth a lot, which is sad. But yeah, fitting topic for a disturbing town. But we do need more supplies while I'm here. Great balls, you say? Yeah, I'll take a few. I'll take nine of them. Yeah, nine. Nine will do. Super potions. We definitely need more of those. So that's 17. 18, 18. Uh, let's put ourselves to 20. Revives. Finally, dude. How many can we get? 11. I'll buy 5. We shouldn't need revives too much, but in case things go horribly, horribly wrong, well, it's good to have. Super repels, you say? Uh, how many can I buy? 20. I'll buy 10. Since we still have normal repels, and I'd rather use those up for it first. Um... And I'll quickly organize my bag. Alright, now that's all organized, let's continue talking to the people. I'm searching for for items that raise the stats of Pokemon. They're effective over the course of a single battle. X attack, X defend, X speed, and X special are what I'm after. You know where I can get them? I mean, I'll, I'll sell you some. I have some in my pocket that I'll never use. Sadly, that's not an option. <laughs> Did you buy some revives? They revive any fainted Pokemon. Sometimes a trainer duo will challenge you with two Pokemon at the same time. If that happens, then you'll have to send out two Pokemon to battle, too. A lot of twos in that sentence. So double battles are in this game. I'm wondering about that, because it's definitely the time they were introduced this generation. Gen 3. Hello, hello, I'm the official name raider. Want me to write the names of your Pokemon? No. I see, do visit again. I like the names of our Pokemon, but if I ever think of something better, or need help, or like accidentally misspelled something, then I'll, uh, yeah. 
Those horrible rockets, they deserved no mercy. That poor Cubon's mother. It was... It was killed trying to escape from Team Rocket. Yeah, the music hits now, doesn't it? What's, uh... Lavender Town, Volunteer Pokemon House. Pokemon House. Sure. That's odd. That, that's odd. Mr. Fuji is in here. Where'd he go? It's so warm. Pokemon are so nice to hug. I, I imagine they would be, depending on the Pokemon. This is really Mr. Fuji's house. He's really kind. He looks after abandoned and orphaned Pokemon. Book. Pokemon Fan Magazine Monthly Grand Prize Drawing. The application... The application form is gone. It's been clipped out. Someone must have applied already. Hmm. Well. Now, we can go... Should we go into Leverture Tower now? I know we can't fully explore it now. We need to go elsewhere. But, might as well be told to go elsewhere than actually just go there now. Besides, this will probably take the rest of the episode, maybe? Depending on how far we can get in Lavender Tower. Who's out front? Uh, let's put Ash in front. Only one who's not, oops. Only one who's not level 27 yet. Plus, Paralysis. Because I know Gary's around here somewhere. Sorry, Blue. The anime watcher and me, I still call him Gary from time to time. <laughs> That is one of his official names, though, so... Yeah. I came here to pray for my dearly departed Clefairy. I'm a wash of tears. Did you come to pay respects? Bless your Pokemon loving heart, son. My Growlithe, why did you die? I am a channeler. There are spirits up in this... up to mischief. I sensed them high in the tower. Anyone up here? No. Pokemon Tower was erected in the memory of Pokemon that died. Let's go up. Uh, can we encounter Pokemon yet? Oh, hello. Hi, Blue. Oh, it, it stopped my movement for a second, so I was like, okay, is this a cutscene? No. <laughs> hey, Red, what brings you here? Is your Pokemon dead? Hey, it's alive! I can at least make them faint. Let's go. Wouldn't it be disrespectful to fight in a Pokemon cemetery? Oh well, we're here. Wow. I chose right. Thunderbolt. Easy. One moment. Well, that was easy. Next, Gyarados. Another easy one. You're four times weak to electric. And four levels below me. Take this, zap. I'm not even a Raichu yet. He's still lost. He may be intimidating, but that don't matter. Not here. Execute. That one, however, I uh, can't really do much about. What Thunder Wave? Yeah. Sorry about that. My controller kind of acts like a mouse when I have it plugged in, too. And I think I keep fat fingering my right trigger, or ZR switch controller. So it keeps opening things, and I don't like it. Grass Psychic. So, hmm. Uh, huh. Grass Psychic. Weird. Uh, well, how much does Thunderbolt do? Let's, let's experiment a little. Grass Resists, but it's also Thunderbolt. Stab Thunderbolt. Yeah, that's not bad. You can handle that. It's paralyzed. Got a three level advantage, which isn't much. Should be enough to matter. 
Hypnosis. Well, that's obnoxious. And I used my awakening, so... Switch we will. Switch we shall. Wes is probably our best bet. Psychic resists itself. So does Grass. And, uh, Pufo's also weak to Psychic. So, uh, Slash. Should do it. I overthink things a lot when I play RPGs. <laughs> But, it gets the job done, usually. Kadabra! Dig. You're faster? How fast is Kadabra? Like, isn't Sand Slash supposed to be one of the faster Pokemon from Kanto? Not the fastest, I know that much. I believe that title goes to Electrode. I always had the impression that Sand Slash was fast, at least. Kadabra was faster. Charmeleon. Simple. Baku and Bufo. Probably won't even need to come out at all, I don't think. Ooh. Nice. <clears throat> what, you stinker? I took it. I took it easy on you, too. Sure. How's your Pokedex coming? I just got a Cubone. I can't find... I can't find a bigger Marowak. Where could they be? Bet there aren't any left. Well, I better get going. I've got a lot of... I've got a lot to accomplish. Unlike you. Smell you later. Oh, Blue. The ever-present kind guy you are. Uh, are you gonna stop me? Even we could not identify the wayward ghosts. A sylph scope might be a, might be able to unmask them. So if I'm correct, if we go up here, we won't be able to progress because we're gonna get wild encounters with ghost type Pokemon, but we can't see them yet. Right, right, right. Game, game. I used a repel, didn't I? Did I use a repel? I know we're at time, but there it is. I just wanted to show it. Oh. Neat. Ghost, level 15. Uh, yeah, I'm out of here. Can't do anything about the ghosts, I don't think. I don't know if we need to identify them, but still, it would help, I think. We're probably, we're probably going to be blocked at some point. We need the Sylph Scope. So, no Lavender Tower just yet. So, uh... Look at the town map real quick. Next time on Pokemon Leaf Green, we're going to head west to Saffron City. Uh, which should be the site. Goodness gracious. Lag spike on my end. Weird. Which should be the site of our next gym leader challenge? Maybe? I'm not sure. Should be. But until then, remember to stay positive, and hopefully I'll be back to full-length episodes soon. So by the time I'm able to record the next one, I'll hopefully be right as rain. But until then, remember to stay positive, and I'll see you in the next one. Later!